All right, so for this question, um, you have to be very careful when you're being asked a question like this one. Find the velocity in the first three seconds. So if you check on the diagram here, we can't see three seconds, okay? So where do you think three seconds is? If zero is here, four is right here, three seconds must be somewhere here. This is where three seconds is. So what are you supposed to do? There are so many methods that you can use. I will start with um, a method which is uh, a little bit, uh, I think a little bit complicated, so to say, to some people, though it's very easy, but it's, it, it, it seems to be complicated to some people. So this is how the method is. You just get this part. Okay, right here. So you do this. All right. Hopefully you will see what I'm writing. You get uh, this part right here. And then you show where three seconds is, is right here. Four seconds is uh, over here. Okay. Here it's zero. This side is where we have the velocity. And uh, here it's 20 right here so now what you've been asked to find is uh, the velocity here we don't know so what are we going to do now we are going to use the idea of a uh, similarity so if you can see we have got this triangle right here and there is also the bigger triangle this one outside here there are two triangles okay so we're going to find the difference from 0 to 3, it's 3. Now from 0 to 4, it's what? Eh? It's 4. So we have 4 and a 3. So 3 is for here and 4 is for right here. Okay. Hopefully you're able to see. And um, once we do this, we start, uh, uh, we get this 4 right here. So we write 4 over the velocity for the bigger triangle because this four is for the bigger triangle which is 20 is equal to we get this one uh, three over what we are looking for which is uh, x okay so now from here we can cross multiply we have four x is equal to 60 and when we divide there by four by four we'll get uh, our x to be equal to 15. So the velocity is 15 meters per second. Okay. So let me show you another method. Okay. This method is, um, it's very simple, I think, to understand. You understand it. So the, the method about uh, I'm about to show you is for finding acceleration. So you say acceleration is equal to final velocity over initial velocity, I mean, minus initial velocity over time. So this method will work to find what we are looking for here, the value of x, okay? So um, here we will calculate the acceleration because the acceleration is the same from here up to here. It's just the same. So even at this point, it's the same. So what is our final velocity right here? It's 20 minus the initial velocity for over time, sorry, the initial velocity zero over time, which is a four, okay? So you solve there, we have 20 over four, and our acceleration is equal to, uh, is equal to five meters per second squared. But this is not our final answer. We are looking for um, the velocity here. So we will still use the same formula. Okay. So we say acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial over time. So since the acceleration is the same, since the same, we'll just get this what we found here and put it right here. Okay. As our acceleration, our final velocity will put X what we are looking for. 
the initial velocity would be a zero. Time will be three seconds because they have said three seconds. You solve there. You remain with x over three. You cross multiply. Five times three is 15, which is equals to x. So our x is equal to 15 meters per second. So you see, we are getting the same solution using different methods. Here we got 15, here 15. So you just pick whichever you think will be easier working with. You can either use this method or this other one. Let's go to question B. For question B, we have been given uh, the total distance, which is right here. And they want us to find the value of T. Where is our T? It's over here. So uh, for distance, we use this formula for as long as we are working with the trapezium. We use the formula right here. So what is the distance given? It's 400. Okay. What is the A? A will be the length or the distance from here to here. It's T. We don't know what the number which is here. So we just put it a T. While B will be from here to here. It's what? It's 4. You just get the number which is right here. Okay. Because it's straight with this point. Minus the number which is here. It's also straight with this point. It will give you a 4. Times the height which is a 20. So the height here is a 20. So here we can divide 2 into 2, 1 into 10. I mean 220, it's 10. Okay. So we have 400 is equal to uh, T plus 4 and 10 there. We distribute. When we distribute there, we want to get rid of the brackets. We have this 10t plus 40. So here, when we subtract 40, or we group the like terms, we subtract 40 from, uh, from 400. We will remain with 360, which is equal to 10t. We divide by 10, by 10, the value of t here will be equal to 36 seconds. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video for the first time, subscribe and uh, like. Uh, also click on the uh, notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post something. Uh, New. This has been Sichamba Jacob for you. Bye-bye.